Tidying up, tidying up. You got toys everywhere, don't you? Tidying up. All right. Honey, I gotta go. Have a great day. Oh, my sweetheart sure is great, isn't she? With Valentine's Day coming up, it's time to get her something nice. I'm Tyler McNamee with Sun Basket. We're here in San Francisco, the food mecca of the world. And today we're gonna visit three of the city's greatest chocolate shops in search for the ultimate Valentine's Day treat. Let's go. So our first stop is over here in the dog patch at Ricuti Chocolates. And we're gonna be meeting up with Michael Ricuti himself. Michael. Hey, how's it going? Great, Tyler, so nice Tyler, to meet you. Tyler, nice to meet you. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is our manufacturing room, so this is where all the chocolate's made. So uh -huh. we receive products and we turn it into beautiful confections. We source all of our natural ingredients like fresh uh, lavender from Eat Well Farms in Dixon or fresh uh, tarragon for our tarragon grapefruit chocolates. These are our variation of a whoopie pie. Without Here, the chocolate cheers. on Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Oh my goodness. That's nice, huh? You can take a moment, you can relax. Let's answer this once and for all, right here, right now. Is it true? Is chocolate an aphrodisiac? Yes or no? Well, there is, uh, yes, it can be. I knew it, I knew it! <laughs> it's just wonderful to eat, it's precious, it's a gift, and it just puts a smile on your face. Yeah. And it, it, it kind of builds you into that kind of like lighter, happier mode. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. You truly made me feel like I won the golden ticket. This has been amazing. My pleasure. Mm. This for cutie chocolate is amazing. Our next stop is Charles Chocolates. And today we get to meet the Chuck of Charles Chocolates. He's been making chocolate for 30 years. Hey, great to see you. You too. You get to put this lovely thing on. I love these. <laughs> so what got you into chocolate? Uh, I started when I was in college in upstate New York. I taught myself how to make chocolate truffles for a girlfriend's yeah, birthday. Every good story starts with a lady. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Lexi's about to start caramelizing some uh, puffed brown rice. Holy smokes. Uh, kind of a brown organic version of Rice Krispies. Our signature look for our bars is one where you can actually see everything that's inside. Yeah. And we use clear packaging so you can actually see, see what's there and what you're uh -huh. getting and how much you're getting. So these are our Tres Cajones bars. Tres Cajones? Yes. Obviously, three nuts. You can see that not only are there different nuts in there, but there's a lot of them. It's all about making sure every single bite is exactly what we want the experience to be. We never want you to bite in and get nothing. And what are your thoughts about the holiday Valentine's Day? And one of the things that bothers me a little bit about Valentine's Day as a holiday is a lot of it seems to be driven by guilt. I mean, guys especially know that if they don't get a box of chocolates for their sweetheart, they're in deep <laughs> so. This Trace Cajones is awesome! Okay, I'm getting pretty chocolatey up here, so we are going to Dandelion Chocolate next, over in the Mission on Valencia Street. Ah, Hi. Hi. Jennifer, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Dandelion Chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. Oh. Yep, you I have to wear your hair net. I know what this is, yes. This okay. is the bean room. So this is a temperature control room. These are the beans that come directly from the farm after they've been fermented. What makes Dandelion unique is that we're a bean to bar chocolate maker where we make single origin chocolate. So the beans from one farm become one chocolate bar. Exactly. So this is Madagascar. Can you see how red it is? You'll see the chocolate itself when it's finished is red. The beans are sorted by hand and then they're roasted in what is basically a coffee roaster. And these machines, depending again on the origin, run between four to five days without stopping. This right here yep. is happening four or five days without yep. stopping. Yeah, this is Madagascar. We're going to taste this and it's going to be the best chocolate you've ever oh tasted. The freshest chocolate I have ever tasted about to happen. That is out of control. I am very sugared up right now. So, well, really nice our to pleasure. You. you too. Now it's time to head back to my honey and give her some of these Valentine's Day treats. Oh. Mm. Uh. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, honey, how sweet of you. It's all wrappers. 